finally, finally, there is something to talk about as it concerns WWE news, rumors, and headlines. And there better be something to talk about because TLC is this Sunday. And I got huge news, major TLC updates on Seth Rollins, John Cena, and the return of the Viper, Randy Orton. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Now the link, the source, the proof, of course, as always, is in the description of this video. There's a lot of speculation regarding Randy Orton interfering in the John Cena vs. Seth Rollins tables match at this Sunday's WWE TLC pay-per-view. It's considered pretty likely that Randy Orton, who was scheduled to return in the very near future, would make the save for Cena during the finish of the match, setting up in Randy Orton Rollins program, which was which has been heavily rumored and talked about to no end right here on Sean View Entertainment, and I cannot wait for that one. But listen to this one. Good old Vince Russo swerve. There's a chance, however, that Orton pulls a swerve. And cost John Cena the match instead. Although that would keep him as a heel. And the latest word going around is that he is scheduled for a babyface turn. Either way, there is a strong possibility that the Viper Randy Orton makes his return during this Sunday show. Now remember, Randy Orton was originally scheduled to return at Survivor Series. And Randy Orton was backstage. However, for some reason or another... With Sting being added to the event, the WWE thought that they didn't have to go that extra mile and have Randy Orton on the show as well. And do we really want to see Randy Orton screw Seth Rollins? Hell yeah. Do we want to see John Cena screw John Cena? Hell no, because what that means is we get John Cena versus Randy Orton for the upteenth time once again. And I don't think that's the match that everybody wants to see at a WrestleMania. Although then again, maybe it would make perfect sense to finally put an end to the rivalry, put an end, put an explanation point at the end of the sentence. John Cena versus Randy Orton at WrestleMania. Perhaps the only event that they have never wrestled or headlined in. Now, once again, I, I guess I guess it would make sense. But I, I think a lot more people are definitely more interested in seeing Seth Rollins versus Randy Orton. And I would assume that would happen at WrestleMania. Or it could happen as early as the Royal Rumble. It could happen inside the Royal Rumble match itself. And ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, at least the WWE has a variety of different ways that they can go about this angle. And how the events can transpire going into the new year. But either way, it looks like TLC has become more compelling like I said, I'm going to be running down the TLC card. I'm going to be running down a preview, my match predictions. I'm going to be giving a TLC complete coverage as the show is on. I'm going to give my review of every single match. I'm going to be going through TLC all week for the rest of the week here on Show on Vintage. And once again, I apologize. I am sorry for not being prolific, consistent, and dedicated because there was nothing to talk about. Nothing was being reported. Nothing was being rumored, and I don't control the rumors. I don't control what the WWE is doing. I can't control the fate and the destiny. All I can do is wait and give my view and my opinion of what I see, what I read, and what I hear. So what I want right now is your comments and your opinions on Seth Rollins versus John Cena at TLC and the potential of Randy Orton's return and involvement. Should he screw over John Cena or would it make a hell of a lot more sense to screw over Seth Rollins? Which is, well, Seth Rollins is the reason Randy Orton's out right now. Although we all know Randy Orton's out because of a movie, but that's besides the point. Let's go according to how the WWE is booking this. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging in there and, and th please don't unsubscribe because there's nothing to talk about. It's just the way it is. It's slow right now and I have nothing that can stop that or alter that. I'm sorry. I apologize. I will be back. Subscribe.